So today I'm gonna show you guys how I took this photo, which I created in mid journey using the prompt female boss yelling at Elon Musk. And I then turned it into this short video. So in order to do this, you're gonna have to know how to use mid journey. If you're unfamiliar with mid journey, I will leave it in the description section, a link to a week's worth of videos that I created covering mid journey just two months ago. Some of these have a lot of views and I have you guys to thank for that. And the process of creating these tutorials helped me master the platform. Okay. So for example, I gave mid journey a prompt to create a bulldog with a purple Jersey playing basketball on on Mars aspect ratio 16 by 9 I chose this third image remember mid journey produces a grid you choose the image that you like best I went ahead and liked this third image best so I upscaled it and I even zoomed out a bit and then what you have to do is you have to click on the image open in new browser expand it save image as we'll save it as bulldog and then voila, it opens up in whatever photo editor or viewer you have set on your computer. I go ahead and I always open everything in Photoshop because I use Photoshop, which by the way, has a lot of AI capabilities as well, such as the AI Firefly. And I had created a video on that as well. I will also link it in the description. And this video is also doing quite well, over 11,000 views. So once you have the photo saved, what you're gonna do, we're gonna use Gen 2 Runway ML. This is the best image to video AI platform out there at this moment. Let me show you exactly how to use it. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna navigate to runwayml.com. I'm gonna leave it in the description. Once you are there, you're gonna go ahead and sign up. It's free and everything we're gonna be doing today is on the free version of Runway ML, which is awesome. So once you're signed up and logged in, you're gonna wanna go to generate videos right here on the left hand side under the videos options. Once you're there, you're gonna select text or image to video. We're gonna select that. And then this is very, very simple. Over here, you're gonna hover over the photo icon. You can drag and drop an image file here or you can simply click on this and then upload the image. And so over here, I uploaded the image and now we're just gonna click generate and that's it. So check this out. It's gonna take a few seconds to process. And this is what we get. Now I'm gonna be honest, the leg action is cool. The body action is believable, but the fact that two balls are coming out of nowhere and the face is mutating from a bulldog to an alien is not exactly something that I'm appreciating. Now the prompt in order to get the original image was a bulldog playing basketball on Mars. And so this is rather odd, but who knows? Maybe physics work differently on Mars and when you try to dribble one basketball another one is spontaneously created in the other arm but yeah I'm not too impressed with this one so let's go ahead and try another type of image to create it into a video so this one might actually be really interesting because there's a woman here and we could tell there's a bit of wind and there's a waterfall behind her let's see what happens when we put this into runway ml so i went ahead and gen to runway ml i went and uploaded the video i'm going to click on generate so here's the video that it was able to create. And this is amazing that just from the image, it was able to go ahead and create something that is moving. It's a way to give life to your images via video. Now, of course, it is not very accurate and pristine. This isn't something that I would hand into a client. But remember, these AI platforms are just getting started. Remember what mid journey was just a year ago, let alone a year and a half ago and how they've improved. I believe that Gen 2 Runway ML will continue to improve the same, but it could still really output some believable groovy type of stuff. I highly recommend that you guys play with this platform. Now, one thing I want to do since I was really unhappy with what it was able to provide me when we asked for the bulldog playing basketball on Mars, that I'm going to go ahead and prompt it actually here. So I'm going to do text to video instead of image to video. And I'm going to prompt it by saying a bulldog with a purple jersey playing basketball on Mars. The same exact prompt that we used in mid journey. Let's see what Gen 2 is able to do here. 
So here is what it was able to produce for me. And as you can see, the bulldog just has its face changing a bit. We can see some of the features in the neck with movement. And we could also see it has a little bit of breathing motion in its body, but it's obviously not what I was hoping for. I was hoping for him dribbling the basketball or something like that. But again, if we get something that we're unhappy with, we can further prompt it. Now, the whole point of this is I wanted to show you guys the best text to image platform, which I strongly believe is Midjourney, along with the best text to video platform that you could use for free, which I believe is Runway ML. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna make it say a bulldog with a purple jersey dribbling a basketball on Mars. So let's see, dribbling a basketball on Mars. And we're gonna generate, and this will be the last thing that we do. So here's what Runway ML was able to produce for me. This is absolutely hilarious. Again, I don't want to color things. I want to show them exactly how it is. However, I do plan to make a full tutorial on Gen 2 Runway ML. So if you'd like me to do that, please encourage me in the comments to do so. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Many more AI tutorials, many more investment videos, many more of a lot of scatter type of content and passions I'm into that are going to be showing up on this channel. So I appreciate you guys for watching this video in its entirety, and I will see you all in the next one.